Hey, Leos. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> first of all, welcome to Sauron Hill. <sighs> We're still in this cute love story narrative, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are so adorable. All right. Um, I don't know. Some of you guys might, you know, because this could be the sun, moon, rising, and Venus, right? Uh, placements. So whatever placement you're in, if you're resonating with this, you might be dating someone or you might have Sag in your chart or whatever. So I'm like, I was trying to figure out what to do next, which sign to do next. And it was like Leo. And then I heard Sag. And then it was switching back. Leo, Sag, Leo, Sag. And then it turned into a whole song. Like Leo, 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 Sag, Sag, Sag. And I'm like, wait, is this what we're doing? Which sign wants to go first? And it was just like, it was just a, such a fun vibe. Like, some of you guys might find someone who you're creating with. And it's just very back and forth, communal type of energy. And it's like, you guys, you two are on each other's ass. You know, like, you guys are loving this connection. <laughs> And then I saw a banana, and I'm like, oh, Leo, y'all getting nasty. All right, now. Then I had to back up. I'm like, let me start this reading before they show me something I don't want to see. <laughs> I come to you humbly thanking you for your divine guidance. Providing messages of divine light and divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Leo Collective needs to know for March? By the way, thank you guys for being patient. I had to take a little break for self-care. So that's why these readings are coming in in the second week. Make necessary sacrifices. It's coming out here. Also, keep in mind, it's a general reading. Laugh at your demons. Mm. Um, this is a general reading. All right. So choose what resonates. Drop the rest. Okay. If you do want a more personal reading, check out the link below. <clears throat> I feel like somebody's like someone's creating with someone and they it's mad sexual tension it's like so much sexual tension but i don't think it's being expressed yet express your joy <laughs> speaking of expressing <laughs> express your joy <coughs> excuse me and i'm still getting over a cold <clears throat> um i don't know if you guys are making music together i don't know if you guys are um you know whatever it's something creative you guys are joining forces creatively and you, you guys are both, like, <clears throat> very much enjoying the connection. And the, the energy exchange of it. So that's really dope. <laughs> and then when I finally chose Leo, and I heard sad, 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 like, backing off slowly. And still cheering on Leo. I'm like, what is going on? Like, this person adores. Somebody adores someone. And they're just like... Yo, I got you. I'm going to hype you up. I'm your hype man, you know? But I feel like it's a, um, <laughs> I feel like it's a mutual thing. It, oh, this is so cute. Okay. <sighs> What's going on? <clears throat> tower, of course. <clears throat> Finding this connection would be a tower. Finding someone that you're completely on board with. And they're on board with you at the same time. Oh, magician. This is a powerful time. It's like you manifested this person or they manifested you. You guys are exactly what someone was looking for. It's like, yo, I found the person. <laughs> it has that energy. It's like the energy of that before it actually happened. Like, I don't think it's a relationship. Because I do feel like somebody, there might be, there's a little bit of resistance still. Right now, it's just like appreciation stage. Like, wow, I'm feeling this connection so much. And the other person's like, I'm feeling this connection too. And now it's like, now what do we do with it? <laughs> and that's when I saw a banana. <laughs> yeah, I got to chill. Yeah, I have got to chill. Oh, see? Yeah. Thank you for this uh, confirmation spirit. Um, Because over here in this other deck, I do have the Eight of Wands in reverse. This is the same card, okay? As I was talking about, there's resistance. Someone's not going with the flow here for some reason. And it makes sense. It's a tower moment. It's like someone's like, oh, 
this is my person. And everything just came crashing down. All right. And this is what happens when you meet like an, an authentic connection. It makes you question everything. So now someone has to go over. They're being somebody's being triggered because this connection is so real and they're so into it. They probably don't even know how to express it or embrace it or or yeah. Someone doesn't know how to express it. Express their love. Express their happiness. So they might be acting weird about it, even though energetically you guys are feening mutually feening for each other. Someone needs to sacrifice their ego, their pride in this case. They have to sacrifice their um <clears throat> their old ways. Okay. If they're used to being a certain way with someone. They have to they have to let that go because they just met someone they just met a real connection and you can't bring them that devil energy into it you can't bring manipulation you can't bring control you can't bring your tricks of the trade that you usually do to deal with someone you can't bring that into this type of connection you guys are or, already just you guys are there okay is not worth being in control you know, like risking this connection. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Your ego isn't worth it, all right? Your pride isn't worth it here. If this is you, Leo, because Leo's no shade, but, you know, Leo's are known for the pride, okay? We do have the lover's card here coming out. There might have been a broken connection involved with the situation. This might have been this person with this person because there is some type of resistance. It's like somebody was flowing, Someone might have broke it because they freaked out. They realized it was a wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. They realized that this is a thing that they've been waiting for all this time. The thing that they didn't know they needed. It was there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, please, if you haven't watched the, the, the previous Leo uh, reading, please do so. Someone's feeling betrayed with the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, Ten of Swords here, but... It's fine. That's it's like somebody's dropping that betrayal. All right. Someone's feeling, feeling betrayed because someone stopped the connection. When someone gave resistance, it was like flowing, and someone was like, "Wait, pump the brakes." And now, when someone felt betrayed about it, it's fine. It's not gonna last for too long. Well, I don't think so. Hold on. Let's see. Before I speak too soon. Oh, yep. So, something interesting just happened. The King of Wands in reverse kind of popped out and then went back in a deck. And then I kept shuffling and the King of Pentacles came out. I feel like they're taking a step back to gain their bearings because they know they have to come correct. All right. If this person was like, um, because the King of Wands in reverse, that's an energy of like someone who's unreliable. They might be a player type of energy. They might have been used to doing that. And then they found a connection that made them tighten up their act, you know, straighten up. Like, oh, I have to I have to stand tall when I talk to her or when I talk to him. I can't be the thought that I was <laughs> or whatever. But they're coming correct. And if the connection stopped, that's why I feel like even if you felt betrayed, it's fine. Like, you're going to get over that pretty quickly because I feel like they took a step back to gain their bearings. Like, okay, oh, I have to, I have to change my ways. <laughs> I have to figure out how to approach this person, right? Because I can't, they, they came to you being who they were with all their, um, all their demons, all their tricks, all the things that they, they're used to doing. You caught them off guard and this could be vice versa. They might have had a snaky type of energy. <clears throat> they might have been low vibing. And you guys kind of meshed. And it caught them off guard so much where they're like, wait. Oh, I have to switch gears. Like, I have to change my ways. Because they're starting to think what a future would look like with you. And they're like, okay, well, if I have this, if I if a future is possible now, because they might have been walking around because they I'm walking around like a um I don't want to say fuckboy, but it keeps popping up in my head. So 
if they, if they were walking around like a player, they never found anyone that made them feel this way. So now that they finally did, is making them change tracks. Your demons are now being triggered. They're starting to realize, oh, I this is how we'll, <coughs> this it, this is starting to come to light. All the, the 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 crappy ways, the crappy behaviors that they have, and now they're like, I have to change my ways. They can't do it while they're in the connection, some of them. So they have to take a step back. So, yeah. So just keep that in mind. That's why I feel like this betrayal wouldn't last long. You might feel a quick little sting from them breaking away. But I think you'll understand really quickly why they're doing it. Yeah. This is beautiful. Mutually, you guys are... Yeah, someone needs to walk away from something. It's like they have to tie up loose, loose ends. Okay? Whether it's another broken connection that they had in the past because they, they were a player type. So they probably had a lot of options open. And now they realize, oh, I have to close these doors before I start with this person. So if that's what's happening, I mean, it's something like that happening. It's something that's a, a noble move. All right? Nine of uh, Swords here. They're overthinking. You, um... You messed them up. They realized. I'm hearing. <laughs> now that we found love, what are we going to do with it? Okay. That's what's happening. They realize they, man they manifested their wish. And now like they're like, oh, shit, it's really here. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Now we're here. I found them. Now what? What do I do? They're freaking out a little bit. <clears throat> but I, I feel like they're freaking out and being proactive. That's a good thing. It's not like they're freaking out and running away. We have the four swords. Yeah. They're taking time to meditate. Because a lot of you, you triggered a lot of changes in them. <coughs> Excuse me. With the seven of swords here. Yeah. They were, they were. It's like turning, um, excuse my French, the fire energy has me a little bit rough. I just did the Aries um, reading and they had me a little hyped and you guys do too. Um, so excuse my French, but it seems like some, someone's like turning a hoe into a housewife. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much what it's looking like. And they realize that they have to change their ways. They're like, okay, I have to put away my whole ways so I can be a housewife, house husband. Or, all right, like, I have to come correct and be a king with this person. Like, they don't deserve anything less than kingly behavior. Now that I found someone who's worth it, now I'm going to put away these way, these old ways of being. This was hiding right under the death card. They're putting this behind them. This old way of being, they're putting that behind them. <clears throat> you, um, yeah, someone changed someone. And they have to meditate. You have to be pa you have to be a a patient with them on that. Like, because someone could be triggered by a love and then say, nope, I'm running that way. Or I'm a double down in my a-hole behavior. But this person, they're recognizing the connection. They're recognizing that they manifested the person that they wanted or the type of connection that they wanted. And they're like, okay, well... Let's get started. Showtime, you know. Now I'm ready. Let me put my suit suit on, you know. This is what I've been waiting for. So there might there just seems to be a little bit of a pause in connection, and I, I would say don't. I really don't think there's anything to worry about here. Let me keep it real with you. This is the cutest cutest thing ever. But yeah, the last Leo, um, <laughs> the last Leo reading was, I think it's called the cutest love story ever. Because it was like two people who didn't realize what was happening. And then it's just like, out of nowhere, it's just like they had a moment like, oh, it's you? <laughs> so, yeah. All right, what are the blockages? What is the blockage for? Um... So there's one person who broke the connection, who took a pause on connection. Because they realize they have to come correct. 
And then there's a the person who feels betrayed. So let's start with the person who feels betrayed, okay? What is the blockage for the person feeling betrayed? But it's fake betrayed. You're not feeling betrayed for real. Because I feel like you already know what time it is. <clears throat> yeah, three of wands here with the king of cups. Yeah, madly in love, okay? Someone's feeling in love, but they're just like, why am I not seeing the result? That's the person, that's why they're feeling betrayed. Because they're like, yeah, I know it's love here. Why am I not seeing it? You know, or they're realizing how far it is or something like that. All right. Mm, okay. What are they feeling to see? The person feeling betrayed. What are they feeling to see? They're feeling to see that it's a preparation for um, a preparation for a brand new cycle. You're going into brand new territory, and I don't think either party really recognizes that. Or maybe the person being tr betrayed or feeling like they're being betrayed, they don't realize the gravity of the situation. I think the other person realizes how serious it is, and that's why they had to take a step back. While the other person is like, yeah, let's go. What are we doing? What are we waiting for? So it's one who's just like ready to go ball to the wall. While the other person is like, wait, let's take a break. Let's cool the jets, you know, because they, real, they understand the gravity of the situation. I mean, maybe both parties understand the gravity of the situation um, and they're just handling it differently. One is more ready than the other. Um, but I feel like because the the one who's like pausing the connection, they wasn't prepared. So they had some other options. I feel that's what I'm feeling. They they had other options open that they were entertaining. And now that they realize, oh, this is it. Now it's just like, okay, well, now just give me a second. Let me close out these doors. Let me adjust my energy. Because I was definitely in player mode and you just shut that whole shit down with your energy. What's the advice for the person being betrayed? <clears throat> All right. Look, we have the sun. What? We have the sun card. We have the siren card and we have the will of fortune. What the heck? This is happiness on top of happiness on top of happiness on top of fortunate events on top of upgrading on top of a new love on top of just happiness. All right. This is a brand new energy coming in. No need to rush it. Don't rush it. And definitely, yeah, don't rush it. You're not seeing the results right now. It's okay. It's coming. Ready or not, here I come. That's what's happening. All right, so what's the blockage for the other person, the person who's taking a break? What's the blockage for the person taking a break? And you know what? If this person is still on break, then maybe it's time for you to take time out to check yourself, check your, your ego, make sure you're good too, all right? Let's make sure that you're coming correct as well. They're doing the right thing by stepping back to make sure that everything is aligned up, all right? So what are the blockages for the person being, um, the person taking a break? <clears throat> yeah, six of arrows. There's still something or someone that they still have to walk away from. What are they feeling to see? The healing that needs to be done. Yeah. <clears throat> On their end, they're still battling some demons. All right? This could be vice versa. You figure out where you are in the storyline. But there seems to be one energy who's just ready to go. And they're like, what happened? We were, we were moving. What happened? And it's another one who's like, yeah, just hold on. Let me just... I don't want to bring my my shitty energy into this. Let me just do some healing. Give me a second. I'll be right back. What's that advice for the person that needs a break? <clears throat> What's that advice for the person breaking? What's that advice for the person breaking? What's the advice? Some of y'all do music. Y'all probably make music together. Mm -hmm. And advice for the person is don't take too damn long. Bring an offer. All right, with that page of stones. They're being led. 
they're being divinely guided to actually push forward with an offer, okay? Some type of gesture, like, hey, let's go out on a date or something like that, all right? So that's awesome. Um, everything is definitely going to uh, play out. It just might not play out the way you want it to or how quickly you want it to, okay? One person's kind of impatient while the other person is doing their due diligence before coming to you, all right? Let's get the power animal. <clears throat> What's the power animal for the person feeling betrayed? What's the power animal for the person feeling betrayed? <clears throat> Watch your words. Yeah. Just um, be patient. Like, don't sit here and start messing up the energy because they walked away and you're feeling betrayed. I think you should have more faith in a connection. What you're feeling is real. All right? Know your worth. Some of you guys might be, might have to, them taking a break might be triggering you and your own dark side, your own shadow side. And it might, it might have, that, it might be necessary for you, like I said, as they're taking time out to battle theirs, it might be time for you to take time out to battle yours. You might not be as ready as you think you are. I feel like one of them, one side of the connection recognizes what they have to do before coming to this connection while one other, while the other person is just ready to zoom in. All right. What's the advice for the person taking a break? <clears throat> Mouth spirit tends to small things. Yeah. They have to wrap things up. That's all. All right. And what's the energy for the connection? They're just wrapping things up before they come to you. They're not going to not come to you. Cat spirit, claim your independence. For some of you guys, you might have to take this time out while they're wrapping things up. You might have to wrap up your, you might have some codependency issues that you need to work on and not focus on the connection so much. Um, the connection is not going anywhere. Um, it's like once you recognize, okay, this is a connection, then it it's time to actually make sure that you're right for it. Like that you're ready for it, that you're not coming in, bringing in old cycles, old triggers, old behaviors, okay? One party already knows that this, they need to work on themselves. And I think the other person needs to follow suit. Like, okay, as you're taking this time out, I'm recognizing I'm being triggered. So in doing so right now, what I'm gonna do is work on myself too, all right? All right, so this is a beautiful love story. I'm very excited to see where this goes. Leo, I am so excited for you guys. This is a very exciting love story. Like I said, <laughs> check out the last reading because it was more like someone is so caught off guard um, because they might be focusing on other connections. They don't realize that it was someone right there. That's pretty much what's happening. So it seems like it, it progressed where now someone realizes who it is and now they're just like backing off like, wait, all right, all right. Now that I know who it is. Let me work on myself. Both parties need to take time out to do that. All right, Leo. This is very beautiful. You guys have nothing to worry about. Um, have fun with it. Express your joy. Have fun playing with each other. All right. Have fun creating with each other. You guys are going to make beautiful music together, whether metaphorically or not. So I'm happy for you. This makes my heart sing. Um, but peace.